Welcome to our community. Susie Thomas with you this morning. We sometimes take a little left turn and do things a little bit differently around here, and today's one of those days. Last week we had Charlotte Elton from Heritage Christian School come talk about the wonderful things taking place at Heritage, and um, with also the sad news that the secondary school was going to be closing, hopefully temporarily. Today, we have Don DuBose, who is an employee of Heritage and is involved with the SOS Save Our Secondary Initiative. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Doing great. Don, we've known each other so long, and I count you a dear, dear friend, and so it's just great to see you. Um, Save Our Secondary. First of all, where were you when you heard the news, your reaction, your response? Tell me about it. Okay. There was a uh, meeting that was called, sort of at the last minute, and um, so we showed up that afternoon, and um, the meeting was up in the library, and it was very, very short and very, very sad, as um, Sharla had to come in and inform us that the board had decided that the only means of survival that we had at this point that they could see was to close our secondary. So they were going to be closing uh, the area from grade 6 to grade 12 when we have been a pre-K through 12 school. And even since opening, yes? it's No, okay. I guess my understanding is it has not been since opening. Okay. So the school uh, began in uh, 1968, I believe, Mm -hmm. and so this is our 50th year. But the secondary, I guess, did not begin right away when they first opened the school. It was something that was acquired later on. Mm -hmm. grade level by grade level, which is what they'd like to try to do now again, Mm -hmm. is add grade level by grade level. But um, as I understand it, 70% of the student body is in that pre-K through fifth grade. So this seemed to be financially mm-hmm. their only, looking like their only way to go. Right. Um, it's That had to be a very difficult decision. Oh, dear. And I know it had to have been a difficult decision um, because um, our, our the financial... Um, uh, Ed Choice mm-hmm. program mm-hmm. only covers through grade five. Right. Our students who were a part of this um, were able to continue on if they had already signed on in the earlier years, but we were not able to get new students at the middle school and the high school level. So when it got up to that level, then the numbers dropped considerably because um, we. We are right there in the middle of the city. And so, therefore, our school, our ministry is right there Mm -hmm. with the inner city students. And so not many are able to pay the full uh, amount to go to school. And so it has been uh, a wonderful time of reaching out to our city and giving them the opportunity to come in and have this opportunity of being educated along um, with hearing about Jesus Christ, because many of them had not been raised in church. Mm. So it really did become a mission. It did become a mission. And it's an amazing experience. There's something special about Heritage, isn't there? Oh, yeah. Very special. We're very family. Mm -hmm. um, And so even with students who have just been there for the first year, and they are in those high school, middle school um, sections, It was so sad for them when they heard this news because they had already been adopted into this family. Mm -hmm. They enjoyed the change from what they had been a part of to what they had become a part of there. And so it has just been a very heartbreaking uh, time. A couple of groups Mm -hmm. of people really come to mind. First of all, I think of the, the students, but primarily the seniors. If you've gone oh all word. of your years, uh, you yes. know, to a school, then to transfer to another school, try and get acclimated, find your niche, and mm-hmm. 
um, whether you're in sports or theater or music, find find your way. That's, That's very difficult to do your senior year. And then I think of uh, students who maybe they just got there. Maybe they just transferred, and now they're having to make another change. So yes. it's tough on all the students, yeah. but those two groups really do come to mind. And then, of course, the teacher's done. You think, oh, my goodness, yes. what are they going to do? Yes. So talk to those points. Wow. Okay. So our seniors, this upcoming senior class was going to be pretty small, but they've been together for years. Mm -hmm. And so there's one young man that I can think of, and he just went to Mrs. Elton and said, I can't do this. And that was so sad to think of them. They've come through, and I think in his case that he's been there since kindergarten. Oh, and I think maybe there's one other person that's been right there along mm-hmm. with him. And so from kindergarten to grade 11, and now to be informed, you've got to find a new school. Oh, that was devastating. Mm-hmm. Um, so he has been fighting very hard to see what can we do. So he opened up. Um, a GoFundMe page. Okay, I wondered, yes. Yes. So uh, Heritage has a GoFundMe page that you can go to and check out what he has put there, and I would like to see it updated. Uh, We would like to see us um, uh, do some fundraisers. Okay, GoFundMe is pretty uh, easy to do. I'm going to do it here while I'm chatting with you. I'm okay. just going to go to GoFundMe. And then do you just look up Heritage Christian School? Is I it? believe that's how you do it. All right. I'm and old now, and not so tech savvy. Uh, <laughs> I did look it up, though. GoFundMe.com, pretty easy. And then I'm going to try here just by doing a search for Heritage Christian School and mm-hmm. see. I think there was something about SOS or Save Our School. I think that might have been it. Heritage and Christian. And I didn't write that down, so. Okay, that's all right. Let me, uh, okay. we'll just we'll just do this while we're here. Okay. There it is. You can just type in Heritage Christian School. They have set a goal of $350,000. At this point, um, they've got plenty to go. So if yeah. your heart is touched mm-hmm. right now, mm-hmm. uh, they've raised about thirteen fifty of mm-hmm. the 350000 But I love that... Um, the kids are in faith stepping out and saying, let's let's yes. do this. Yes. Let's try this. And I believe when Charlotte was here, uh, GoFundMe is a little bit different than some of the other crowdfunding in that if you pledge, they you are pledging and you will be donating. They'll find a good use for it. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it's not like Kickstarter. If they don't reach their goal, then they don't charge your, your credit card. Ah, so okay. um, GoFundMe, as we understand, is if you make a donation, thank you very much, and mm-hmm. it will go to... The education, the great education, the kids get at Heritage, right. but we we realized that your plan for it was the SOS Save Our School yeah. initiative. Yes. Um, yes. So GoFundMe is one of them. Mm-hmm. Um, Three hundred fifty thousand dollars, a lot of money, but not enough. Well, actually, uh, the board has given us more updated numbers, Mm -hmm. and those numbers are 900,000. So it's about a million dollars. Yeah, about a million dollars to get to where we need to go. Okay. So then the next thing is that there was a, well, okay, you ask about two other groups of people. Yes. Okay, so that next group uh, are the teachers. And Mm -hmm. that is just such a sad thing because once that news came, those who were in the secondary, who were teachers in the middle school and the high school, knew what that meant for their future there at Heritage Christian. And that was another Mm -hmm. devastating blow. So um, many of them have sent their resumes out and they are going out Mm -hmm. in search of what their next steps will be. Some of them have already found uh, answers to the next steps, Mm -hmm. and so that's good, and may God bless them in in where they're going. Others have not been able to pinpoint what they want to do, where they want to go. Some of them are teachers with students there at the school. Mm -hmm. So then there's that There's that area as well of what do we do that's best for our child? Do we move out of the area? Do we stay in the area? Where do we go from here? And let us just pause there and say, if your school system is hiring, you will not find a finer group of teachers than those with the experience at Heritage Christian. They are outstanding. Okay. Um, They are indeed, and they are people who work 
for the love of the kids. Right. They worked they worked a little bit less than other teachers around the vicinity and yet their hearts were so engaged in doing God's work that they were willing to do this with a missionary type heart mm-hmm. and on a shoestring budget. And these are teachers that could have worked anywhere. Could have and chose really. this because of where their hearts were. Absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. I'm surprised, Don. Uh, I've always been surprised at the incredible level, competitive level of the athletics yeah. in the secondary. Yeah. Um, yeah. The amazing music programs, mm-hmm. amazing music that I know your daughters had a little something to do yes, with. Yes, yes. And um, and the drama, the theater, all of the extracurriculars. Mm-hmm. They didn't just oh you can oh we have that, mm-hmm. but they had it with just the exemplary, mm-hmm. amazing quality yeah. of what everybody, the gold standard as far as I'm concerned, what you want to shoot for. Absolutely. Um, how did they do that with such a small secondary? How? how? I guess prayer really does change oh, things. Oh, my goodness. Because I tell you what, we were blessed. Um, Anthony Watson uh, was retiring from Canton City. Mm-hmm. His daughter-in-law was employed at Heritage. And she said, oh, no, he is too young to be retiring. He needs to not be in a rocking chair. We need to see if we can't get him here. Wow. And he began working at Heritage Christian. So glad that he said yes to that call. And then um, my daughter, Ivana, who had been um, just working in the cafeteria and also subbing the next year that she was there, Uh, He had an opportunity to work with her, fell in love with her skills, and went and said, would you be willing to do this? Awesome. And And uh, she's so mm. talented. Let me just say, Mama, (laughs) you can be very proud. She's so talented. Oh, yeah, she is. And she is a worshiper. And that's Mm -hmm. one of the things about being there at Heritage is the fact that we are able to not just do our fine arts program, but we can do our fine arts program and dedicate it to the one who has created the beauty. The ultimate creator. That's it. The ultimate creator mm-hmm. is our motivation for what we brought forth. And so this, um, our uh, fine arts program just took place uh, this past Thursday. Or, <laughs> yeah. And um, it was amazing because... Mm-hmm we were actually able to hear God worshipped. And Mm. we were able to see this art that also was anointed. And I just, I went through the halls looking at what was being exhibited and listening to what was being sung. And our hearts just rejoiced. And so that was very exciting to be a part of of such a time uh, as this. Mm-hmm. God is using these students. It's the Jubilee year. Yeah. Year number 50. Yeah. Yes. So this is our seven times seven year right now is 49. So the 2017-2018 the mm-hmm. year was that seven times seven. Next year is that 50th year of Jubilee. And I. What does that mean? That means debts are canceled, it, right? But de- that's it. Debts are canceled. Hearts are rejoicing yes. because God is saying it's time for that do over. So we take a fresh start and we take a fresh move and we move forward. And when I realized that this was our 50th year, my heart just went, oh no. God is God, and I do not believe that he would set us out on our 50th year and watch us begin to crumble. Hmm. And so I feel as though we have not because we ask not. Hmm. And when we ask, we ask with wrong ambition, or we ask and we are wavering and we are wobbling. And I decided to take a step of faith, and maybe I'm called for this time to say, I don't believe it's going to be this year. Mm-hmm. I don't believe that that's God's heart. Closing? Pardon? Closing, you mean? Closing, is, is closing the heart. secondary. Mm-hmm. I don't believe that that is his heart. So I had begun to go into prayer about this. And um, uh, during the time that we had uh, downtown, the National Day of Prayer, I prayed with some women. And there was a prophecy that was given to me that God uh, is asking for us to repent of some decision making that was not 
decision making that was righteous. Sometimes we get caught up in the numbers. We get caught up in what we see in front of our face. And God says, but I'm bigger than that. So God is able to God, provide all it, of our needs. Yes, so yes, yes. So the Save Our Secondary, mm-hmm, that initiative, mm-hmm. is is it through the, the GoFundMe page? Are there other ways that people can say, you know what? Yeah. My children, my grandchildren, our neighbors really mm-hmm. benefited from heritage. The whole community benefits from heritage. Yeah. We'd like to participate. Yes. How do you do that? Okay. What I have asked the board about and, you know, in, at a parent meeting that took place where the board was answering questions, I had f- looked at uh, this thing that says, if you take a penny and you double it every day for 30 days, you have an amazing amount of money at the end of that 30 days. So uh, to explain it, you have a penny on day one, Mm -hmm. you have two pennies on day two, you have four pennies on day three. So every day you are doubling that amount. So at the end of five days, you have 16 at the end of five days. So I was breaking that up into five-day increments. And so 16 cents is what you have, and it doesn't look like that's going to be particularly helpful. But then at the end of um, the second set of five days, you've got 1024. Still couldn't pay a teacher's salary, barely her lunch for that week. (laughs) Um, At the end of week three, though, you start to see it get into three digits, which is 163. Mm -hmm. Then at the end of the fourth five-day period, It is up to $5,242. Oh, my goodness. Now it's starting to really multiply and look kind of somewhat promising. Okay, so the fifth set of five days, it starts out at $10,485. But then at the end of that, so this is the 25th day, Mm -hmm. it is $167,000. Seven hundred and seventy-two dollars. That's amazing. When you get to day thirty, you are at five million three hundred sixty-eight thousand seven hundred and nine dollars. Hello, so, so doable. Look at that. Yep, yeah, so oh doable goodness. when you break it down. <laughs> I'm, we're going to pause there. Got to take a short okay. break, but uh, you can figure that out. Do the math. Grab a pencil while you listen to these messages. We'll be back with Don Dubose after these words. You're listening to our community.